Welcome to another video by Apex Guitar Repairs. Uh, today we're going to do a kind of a review on the Crimson Guitars Fret Leveler. Um, I got this whew, a few months back um, and I have to say it's probably one of the best tools I've ever got. Um, just fantastic for leveling fretboard, leveling frets. Uh, for quite a lot of time for leveling frets I was using a file that I put to an ash handle that I'd made and did a great job. It did the job but the problem with it was the file that I used was very rough. Left a lot of scratch marks. It took a lot longer to take the marks out and sometimes it was just you know if you slip you're gonna hit something and leave a really big mark in it and it was it was great got the job done fast the leveling job anyway but then when it came to crowning and polishing up the frets as having to go back and forth trying to get scratches out and the fret leveler by crimson guitars is fantastic because it comes with engineered ground sides um, perfectly flat not no movement or anything in it, it's not going to start warping you with something like this. The file can move, uh, you know, you're generating a lot of heat, you can actually end up making the file, the glue that holds the file, start to move, which is kind of annoying because then you have to go back and glue it. And almost every time I had to do a fret job, I had to check if it was flat because uh, a lot of the times it was lifting at the edges. I mean, the glue that I used, or whatever, I'm not a tool maker like Crimson, but um, maybe someday. Um, well, now I've got Crimson Guitar Fret Leveler. Uh, sometimes I've been doing leveling fretboards, I have two sides with two different types of sandpaper at the minute. I'm just leveling these frets that have these new frets that have gone on this guitar. Um, I've got the whole fretboard masked up. All the frets have been marked with a marker so I can see what's actually happening. Uh, sadly there's no truss rod in this guitar so I can't go over the top to get things straight. Um, but yeah, I've got 600 grit sandpaper on one side and I'm just gonna take into these frets. It's just, I got the, this size, you can get smaller um, can't remember the sizes. You can get even bigger. Uh, I want this because then I could use it for a lot of things a lot more. I like to be able to watch it as a move instead of the whole thing being about this size and literally just having to do this and then it could hit tuners, you can hit whatever. It just this is a perfect size for me. Um, when using the fret leveler. Um, you can see a lot of people doing this sort of movement, which is fine, of course. Um, but when you do that, you can be pushing down too much. Do that, and the neck can move just in the middle. Um, we don't want that at all. Uh, at the minute, this is a my makeshift fretting bench type thing. Um, it's not, some people might not say it's perfect, but it's doing a great job for me. I might change a few bits on it, uh, uh, but it's doing a great job for me and it just slots in and out of my bench, which is fantastic. Um, I might try and just get something underneath the neck here to support it. Mm. Let's see. go and that's just stopping so if I happen to be pushing down here then I'm not going to move the frip or the neck at all Um, obviously there's jigs and stuff like the Dan Irwin fret jig and all that kind of stuff but for $500 whatever it works out in pounds this is doing the job um, the guys at Crimson Guitars Master Luthier, uh, Ben Crow or whatever his name is, is absolutely fantastic. Played some of his guitars at the Birmingham Guitar Show, out of this world, and he doesn't need big fret jigs like that, so I don't see why people need them. 
Well, here we go. I'm just going to do it moving my whole body with the leveller. Can already see what's going on there. A few low frets, no points in the fret anyway. Um, this guitar is a uh, Melodia um, from somewhere around 1950 odd. Um, refretted with Jessica Jumbo Fretwire. Um, that's what the customer wanted. Um, the guitar didn't play great when it came in, really skinny frets on it, uh, frets sort of filed to points at the end and stuff and it just wasn't a comfortable guitar to play at all. Uh, but we're hoping to get it going, uh, get it playing really well. Um, all the frets were all over the place on it and hopefully once these are all leveled there is a bit of a back bow on the neck. Uh, because it is no truss rod we can't set it straight and file all the frets straight and then put a back bow in the neck and uh, when the strings go on it pulls it perfectly straight and all that kind of stuff it, we're just we don't have the luxury with this guitar um, so I sort of used heat and stuff to give it a slight bit of a back bow um, and hopefully when it pulls up the neck's going to be perfectly straight or close to it anyway um, but yeah, uh, this is a fantastic tool. Um, I've never, I, I don't even know how I was able to get, uh, how I was able to do the job before I had this basically. Um, you know, I was getting away with what I had, but this is really, is a game changer for me. Um, Crimson Guitars make fantastic tools, check them out. Um, but I'm gonna get back to leveling these frets. Um, if you want to check out the rest of our YouTube videos, we're starting to try and do a few YouTube videos. Uh, check us out on Facebook, Apex Guitar Repairs and Pickups. Uh, we have a studio as well, Apex Studios. Uh, um, yeah, check us out and check out Crimson Guitars. They're on YouTube, tons of videos every week. And uh, they're on Facebook, Ben's on Facebook. And yeah, check out their website, grab one of these, fantastic tool. They do tons more tools for any the hobbyist guitar repairman um master luthier everything it was good enough for ben good enough for me thanks thanks for watching